Parker was born three hours before his due date. Very punctual child. Pregnancy was great. I mean, I didn't have any real concerns at all. Right from the get-go though, um, his color was off. He wasn't gaining weight. He was having issues latching. His respirations had gotten to the point where they were so high, we needed to go to the hospital and figure out what was going on. Without getting good answers, they transferred us to another hospital an hour and a half away. The second hospital we went to said, turns out it's related to the heart. He's in heart failure, we need to take care of that. Things are improving, but there's still so many things that are off and so many question marks. He's really struggling, developing, and so they had to do open heart surgery. So he's 18 months old, they do the surgery. He wasn't recovering well and they realized his thymus was missing. A nurse practitioner pointed out that it can be a big indicator for 22Q or to George. That prompted the genetic testing. He was diagnosed finally with 22Q, also known as to George. It was a micro deletion in the 22nd chromosome. And so that minor micro deletion can cause an array of issues and with 22Q, it affects every area of the body. The spectrum is big. For Parker, I feel like so many of his issues come from the low muscle tone. I remember thinking, I can handle a kid with special needs, but little did I know, I, the challenge would be finding out that he even had special needs. We were seeing pulmonology, we were seeing GI, we were seeing cardiology, but nobody even suggested the possibility of it. It took me trying to figure things out on my own and hitting dead ends and having doctors tell me I wouldn't know what to do with this if this was my own kid. I wish that my OBGYN had offered me the test. I didn't know that was an option. There were certain tests I didn't want to do because they're more invasive and I didn't want to risk hurting the baby, but for what was a simple blood draw, to know that my odds would have indicated very accurately. What I would have had coming my way would have been life-changing. If we knew there was a high chance of him having 22Q, we could have really um, pushed for better imaging over the pregnancy to see what we were gonna be up against ahead of time instead of letting him go into heart failure to figure out we had major issues. I know that regardless, at this point, he's gonna be happy and there will be success and whatever challenges are thrown at us, we'll be prepared for. But knowing is only gonna make your life better. For reals. <laughs>